Folks, so I'm knowing it's gonna be some bullshit in my building. The GDs in the Texas gonna go crazy. The eighth. <laughs> Real shit, man. It's starting to get cold outside. Okay. Y'all, some of y'all this motherfucking need McDowell. Some of y'all cold as shit. Low blood like a motherfucker. <laughs> cold the motherfucker back here. Shit. Yeah, that's what you get. You don't eat the right shit. You don't eat vegetables. Where all the vegetable leaves is at? All the niggas don't eat vegetables. Fam, you ain't raise your hands. That's why you sit over there bent all over like that. And calcium ain't no shit. You don't fuck with vegetables in? Man, why not? Man, I swear to God, boy, I eat all type of vegetables. I make my own fucking tuna casserole with noodles in it. See it. <laughs> you come over. So I mean, I was eating corn. Like, I eat corn, green beans, asparagus. Type broccoli nigga, I eat, I eat, I eat that shit. I went to the motherfucking vegan restaurant down the street, a little vegetarian soul place. Them motherfuckers charge twenty five dollars every time you put your food on that little thing. They overcharge, motherfucker. I paid ninety five dollars for a plate. I said, bitch, hold on. What type, what type of bread y'all put in this motherfucking shit? I make you pay ninety five dollars for this expensive ass motherfucking plate from this vegetable place. I go across the street, got me a burger for two ninety nine. I'm just giving y'all a little break. Yeah, all this shit is just off the head right now, y'all. Y'all just, you know, chill out. Get your jackets. <laughs> well, I'm a single people that makes noise. Single people makes noise. I'm a single people makes noise. Yeah. What's up? Are you single though? I, I figure you would. I knew something wrong. You got a thick ass voice. You, you try to rule niggas when they come to your crib. We you get your ass in that motherfucking room right now, huh? Oh, you got a lot of kids? No. What? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I ain't here. Okay, well. You let niggas in, they try and move in. Yeah, that's the niggas you fuck with, though. You better get you a low income nigga like I. Put me out any time. I'm going home, bitch. <laughs> Niggas be scared to wait another long ass line. I was calling it that day. Yeah, my shit ready yet? Yeah, it's me. Mike. Yeah. That was Monday. Today. Tuesday. 1045. Yeah. It's me again. Is it ready yet? Nigga, I'm for real, boy. Man. Niggas ain't got their own shit. I feel sorry for y'all. I know there's a couple of them laying around in here. You know what it is. I feel sorry for y'all. I'm telling you, better come on out. Low income life. So I'm telling you, baby. You're going to stand in there like you're in a homeless shelter, but you're going to be working when they pay off, do you? Straight up, look, she on low income three times. I think she on section eight. Ain't no her. He come loud it, loud ass. Loud ass, loud ass. <laughs> we gonna upgrade her rent one time. She gonna be loud, she gonna keep on getting loud. Come on down to section eight. You don't make nothing, you don't pay nothing. <laughs> My building just stinks. They don't clean the garbage out. <laughs> shit, I be that motherfucker like this bitch don't make. I be having flies from other people crib my shit. <laughs> the, the little incinerator right next door and shit. They think it's just a welcome party to come to my shit. No, I mean, get your ass back here. I be spraying the aerosol can with the light on. I ain't got no motherfucking rain to no shit. I go old school nigga shit. I put alcohol on the floor. Let me see some ants. <laughs> Get that ninety percent shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, burn, bitch. Came the wrong goddamn house today. I'll be here. <laughs> Fucking little ass up, boy. I got a little shotgun for the little flies. I bought off Amazon. A little salt thing. You pump the salt in that motherfucker. That shit work out for it. I'm gonna tear wings off the motherfucking fly. Try to come here and swing around my little garbage can if you want to. Fire! It's like a plane.
lane and lost his wing. That motherfucker get the glide and go straight to the sink. Water task. Drown that bitch. Well, I'm on exterminator. Low income lane. Got this, got this new nigga to stay across the hall. Man, people take care of your hygiene. Cause that shit, man, that shit come out the, out the underdoors. Yeah, you know how you got a little space up under your door? A little smell be seeping through the creeps and shit. I be hating going to my crib. I swear to God, I be like, Tom, I be going to knock on this door. Hey, man, look. Man to man, player to player. Watch your body, man, because this shit, this hallway, boy, you are a foul nigga, man. I don't even want because this nigga like a little incredible hawk. I know he ain't trying to fuck me up. This nigga open the door and try to be doing this little. No little weight things and shit, like, you got to do that outside, motherfucker? Oh, no, no. Yeah, get one of them motherfuckers. You want to just show us up. <laughs> What's up, big dog? Hey, man, fuck you. Close your door. <laughs> you stink, man. You fucking stink. <laughs> so, I mean, all fuck, I love people be having trouble with the hygiene. We used to talk about shit earlier. A lot of motherfuckers be having trouble with the hygiene. I don't think people be knowing that shit. I guess a funky motherfucker here right now, you don't even know it. I know you stink. Your get up stink. I smelled you when you got up. <laughs> you don't smell the motherfucker get up like, damn, God. A get up boy, sit down. A little get up, man, your sit down. Stink like a motherfucker, boy. Sour Nigga. <laughs> That's the nigga that don't be changing their motherfucking underwear. Nigga be going the same job for like a week. Is this for me, Emma? What's this? Y'all give it up, Emma. Pass it up the weed. Just I can have it. It's always good to have friends that sell shit. You can always own them. <laughs> well, well. It's got a little time. <laughs> I worked it out for a little bit. Hey, what are you doing up here though, for real? You hear I be like, man, I'm just tired. Sometimes I be tired, man. I be tired of the motherfuckers, yo. No income life keep you up. People be outside all night. I call my front window on TV, because they be out. They be holding up traffic in a lot. They be, don't, don't, piss it out the way. Shut up, we twerking on the motherfucking lights. This is one of them bitches laying moving like this. I'm like, that's a retarded twerk right there. Man. I ain't no twerk. That's the urban jerk, bitch. <laughs> Shake your fucking. Turn the lights and put it on your head. bitch. Oh, I think you see, I think I'm bullshit. Come on down and visit for a day. You gonna see what I'm talking about? Like you gonna watch some TV? I'm gonna pull that shit up. Like, <laughs> you know, Shane gonna make some noise. Shane's ain't never easy to stay to let up. Don't slip, that bitch gonna go over four, five times. <laughs> Help! Appreciate the little chuckle. Make sure I dream of genie pain, so. And dividing legs out. See? You wanna go live in low income life? Don't get me to think about it, I got air fry. You <laughs> know what? Look at loud mouth Lottie. You ain't got no lamb in the freezer. <laughs> Thirsty throat ass. Y'all want something to drink or eat? You got some meat in there? I want some meat. <laughs> You ever tried air fried lobster? Like this some exquisite shit. That's a meat? <laughs> Thanks, Teddy. I appreciate it. Teddy knows that air fried with a lot of meat in the refrigerator. Teddy keeps the meat. Well, we cook it like Teddy pork chops in the air fryer. That's a good meat. All right. Done. I'll be eating them out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
Here we roll. We're going to keep the party rolling. Y'all show some love. The Dr. Dre, y'all. Clap it up. your first name, Clarence. So um, I talked to his doctor first, and so he can see if he's ready to date. So his doctor gave him clearance. He said he wasn't due for hospice for another three weeks. So, you know, we went out for a while. But I said, let me go to his house first, because I didn't want to have to answer to my friends. I'm like, why are you outside with a man with an oxygen tank and tubes up his nose? So we went to his house first, and we did some, you know, bill wits with his friends. It was cool at first, but after a while, they just started taking bathroom breaks and medicine breaks after every hand. It was just too much. And then there was a catheter on the floor. I thought it was a straw, and I picked it up. It was a mess. Uh -uh. <laughs> and so the, the dope bell started ringing. I'm like, you like, go get the dope, David. Go upstairs and get the dope. And I'm like, oh, okay. You, you, think, you know, I'm comfortable up in your house. You trust me, ask me your dough. So I can see the dough, the old lady at the dough with some other old ladies. And I'm thinking it was a Jehovah's Witness or whatever. And so, I'm like, what's going on? She's like, what Clarence? I'm like, uh, that's not how you witness the people. That's not how you do it. And she's like, uh-uh, who are you? I'm like, who are you? She's like, I'm his woman. I'm like, uh-uh. I'm like, you can't be his woman. I would dip in your mouth like this. He got to choose me over you. But uh, it was it was all good, though. Um, I ended up falling in love with him, though. 
uh, one day he sent me to the stove because you know he don't have any teeth in his mouth. So I had to go to Popeyes, you know, to get him something to eat because you know he can't eat anything with meat and he got to eat soft foods like, you know, mashed potatoes and red beans and rice. But the problem, I don't know why I went to Popeyes though. Popeyes is a mess. Every time you rise one, especially one on 95th and King Drive, it's always a sign on the drive through No chicken. Just come in. Drive through clothes. No, you can't, no cars, no cash. I'm like, oh, I can't stay at this place. And then I go in, because you know, the drive train ain't working, and you gotta stand in line all day. It's like, I could've cooked for this. Yes. And then you go in, and you get your chicken, and you get in the car. It's not just here in the food, now you got lashes in the food. I'm like, it's just too much. Oh, no. So I, I'm done, I'm sorry, I'm done with Popeyes though. But anyway, like I said, I fell in love with the dude. Uh, and you know what happens when you fall in love with a dude, right? He did what any young man would do. He ghosted me. That's all. But that just mean he died. So I was like, okay. That's not funny. I was in love. I was I was ready to be committed. I was ready to go to the nursing home or whatever. I was I was ready for that. But uh, but I but I still wasn't ready. You know when a man ghosts you and they die, you still you know you still not over. I went to the brain side with my Ouija board. And I was trying to communicate with him that way. I was like, please come back to me. But no, but he found his first girlfriend up there in heaven. So it is what it is. So now I'm back single and I'm back online. And so so now I'm trying to meet another man on this other website. It's called Don't Let My Pitch and Go to Waste.com. So hopefully I'll meet an old man then. But thank you all, Chicago. Y'all been great. Y'all do better than that for Miss Jerry, man. Give us some love, man. Funny shit. That's what open mic is supposed to be. That was creative. That was cute. Yeah, that was cute. She's like, he ghosted me. He died. That was funny. Wasn't that funny? I sniggled. Well, they laugh. Get the fuck out of here. For free. What the fuck? They just be want quality laughs for free. One more time for Miss Dre. Out here looking for old motherfuckers. Pick your phone up. Your phone up, Ms. Jerry. I got you. What you looking for? What age? <laughs> Shit, I'm ready. Fuck all that. I just went to the doctor. I'm straight. I ain't got no drawers on now. Hoping I was gonna catch something. I got you, Dre. You grieving and shit. You got to show up at Dre. I was already up. Like, yeah, Dre, what's up with all that pussy you got up there? You wanna let something out a little bit? Yeah, that's real shit out here. You know how niggas don't give a fuck about life? Act like COVID didn't even happen. Bucky Pops, I don't give a fuck. I'm still going to JoJo party. You right at JoJo party, shaking your dick. <laughs> niggas like, Bucky Pops might be in there, but shit, I ain't gonna know it's Bucky Pops till it get on me. I want some pussy, fuck all that. Who's Miss Dre at? I'm 62, what's up Miss Dre? There's gonna be a whole bunch of old motherfuckers at your door. Tell them, come on down here, baby. Take your peek on one of these dicks. <laughs> we went to the gas station. We ready. Fuck the gas. I need four of them blue pills, please. They told me, sir, quit pulling up on the pump. If you ain't gonna get no gas, just park over there. <laughs> on the pump. <laughs> you ever went in the gas station and bought a whole bunch of shit like, hey, let me get two t shirts. Let me get two of them white beaters. Let me get four blunts. Let me get one rubber, because I'm going to take this off. I'm just got this just in case you ask for it. That's terrible. I'm the only one. You're going to laugh, fuck you. I'm using all this on my hour special. Thank you for all these beautiful ladies for showing up on Tuesday like it's the weekend. Yeah, happy past Labor Day. How many ladies went out with their man and met their family on this holiday weekend? Nobody, see? That's what I like. I like this. Y'all ready for anything? I like this. I like women that's ready. Got their gym shoes on just in case they gotta run. I like this. Get out, bitch, get out. <laughs> All right, y'all give it up for my church members showing up right here in the front. 
Yes, praise the Lord. Easy help. Hallelujah for this opening right here. You see that little opening right there? Man? That's all you need. Man, that's all right right there. Where you get that from? Man, just got the little opening right there. I like that. Oh, see, ladies, the African Art Festival. You just bought that to wear it here at Francis on Tuesday. Francis is blowing up. You ain't with it, motherfucker. You ain't with it. She did this for us. I love you. Is anybody celebrating their birthday out here? Yeah. All right, all three of you. Oh, right here in the VIP. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday, y'all. Happy birthday. Right here. Happy birthday in the back back there. Oh, man, I like this Tuesday. This Tuesday is all right. I see a couple of guys. I don't want to say that. I don't want to point no fingers. They got on the outfits they had on last Tuesday. <laughs> I don't want to start no trouble, but you know, I looked at the guy and I said, nigga, is this you again? Is this a TV show? What the fuck is this? Hey, y'all, look, check this out. I'm going to be realistic. Ms. Dre, the show is still going on. Come on, y'all talk about this one down to the corner. She up there discussing this shit, like, girl, what I do? Did I do all right? What the fuck you did good? I said you did good. Just keep on writing and keep on wearing them jeans. You hear me? Them jeans was funny. Yeah. You know what you was doing. Yeah. And she brought a good, nice looking friend with her. I like that. That's your sister. I like that. I hope they get where they going. What the fuck is that? Why do motherfuckers drive like that and you know you got a red light coming in? What the fuck is that? You gonna train, you gonna hurt your brakes trying to stop. Yeah, for nothing. Hey look, we've been doing this for three years, people. Can we get some energy for that? Three years. Outside, trying to get a crowd to understand laughter is medicine. We got real people that got real jobs back here. So we really, really appreciate y'all coming back here, making sure we got something good going on. We're just doing that for the neighbors. They make a plane and <laughs> 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 a whole lot of digs, a whole lot of pussy. They don't really want to hear that. But like I was saying about the Lord, is that God <laughs> makes sure everything goes, you know, and we don't want to use his name in vain. Come on, y'all, bow your heads and pray. Amen. Yes. Lord, heal this neighborhood. Yes, Jesus. Heal these young children. Yes. Let them understand they can take an ass whooping. They can get up in the morning and talk about it in the morning. Or they can do like I did, stayed in the house for two weeks until that eye went down. Then you can go back out there. It's another day. You live to fight another day. You do not have to get a pistol at the baby shower. What is that about? Through his son, Jesus Christ, I pray, amen. 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 Let's move this show on. Hey, man, y'all give my man Mike Sapp a round of applause, man. It's my oldest son right there. Did another person raise his hand like he was Mike Sapp? I see you, bro. That's my man. A lot of see cats I grew up with, man, doing good in life. But man, I watched him grow up, man. I knew he had the hustle in his blood. He's the manager at uh, White Castle right here on 79. He makes sure all the burgers is hot. Make sure you shit like a goose like everybody else. Thank you, sir. He put the extra shit on yourself, sauce on you. In the morning, you don't even see him. He just come in there, rah, rah, and he just go and start doing taxes and shit. I'm like, that's what you do? He said, yeah. He said, when you get up in management, it's really you find out about the company. That shit is that you shit all over yourself. I found out what the secret herbs is. It's X lax. This nigga chop up X lax on the chopping block like lemons and limes and throw it in there with the onions. Hey, Jordan, Jordan. Jordan, excuse me, in the back. The little bitty dude with the tall dude. Could y'all two do me, do me a real big favor, please? Shut the fuck up. And damn it, we got people who want to listen. 
<laughs> I'm gonna say this, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. All the ladies in here, I appreciate you. Oh, uh, with an ambulance like that, they did. They did. When they do the little quiet little ooh, they did. That's our boy. He told me, she read the loud, drive me up. I think in the back of that ambulance, like, drop me off up in the loud. He put my body right there by my lips so she can see me by the light. You want to see me dead. I'm still on hard, ain't it? Looking for you, Mr. Chad. You want us to lay you right here, Mr. Chad? Mr. Clarence, what's his name? Mr. Clarence, lay me right here. Just lay me in front of the lounge. <laughs> Put the money in my hand, let her know I'm buying her and her sister some drinks. You gonna buy a bitch away and read it at the lounge. <laughs> Tell the comedian to read it back there. Tell Dre to come sit on this dick. <laughs> One last time. For the one time, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Whoever don't want to laugh, fuck you. I hope you shit on yourself. I'm ready for this. I love comedy, man. You don't know which way it's coming. See how, see how I did that? Went back into your joke, Ms. Dredd. And I'm still trying to get over there, baby. I'm trying to help you, baby. <laughs> I'm like, Marla, stop this. You pull my drawers out to my hand? No, I'm I'm just serious. But listen, this lady is selling drugs legally right here at this table. And everybody know that. She got infused everything. Yes. Pancakes. She got granola you can put in your oatmeal. She got lemonade, Kool-Aid. She got popcorn, yes. she got pickles. Yes. There's nothing she can't infuse. Right. And the reason why, she, I'm dead serious. She got infused sex toys. KY jelly, KY jelly. Ooh, with the weed in it? Yeah. Oh, you got to suck that pussy, don't you? <laughs> Whoever don't agree with me, something's wrong with you. Doing like that Richard Pryor joke. That shit is for real. Richard said, his uncle said, man, don't you ever kiss a pussy. He said he couldn't wait to kiss a pussy. <laughs> Just because they told him not to do it. Teddy finna go shit? I ain't never seen you move that fast. Look at him pushing motherfuckers out the way. Let me do shit. I got the shit. God damn. I shouldn't have went to White Castle. He keep telling me not to go there. Did you see how fast he jumped up? He jumped up like shooting. Right, he was gonna play some defense on somebody. He got the shit. And there they go. And yeah, Chicago legend celebrated his 56 year on Earth, and he is going into the Hall of Fame. Act like you here, man. Y'all do. Who? No, they go in. All right. We saw that, so we're taping that. We'll let you know. He's on cocaine. He just hopped a little. I was talking about Tim Hardaway. Yeah. Yeah. Came to the crossover. They wanted me to roast him, and I said I can't do that. This nigga come through Carver High School, first of all. He was there when Carver was Carver. Yes. Yeah, you had to get your ass whooped on the bus to get to the school, to get your ass whooped again to go to class. So he made it through that. Then he went all the way to UTEP. He could have went anywhere. He went all the way out there. And then made it into the league his son is in the league. Nice. One more time for Tim Hardaway. One more time. Yeah. Yeah. Leon, Leon and uh, Damon did a good job. That's good when you send your co-workers in and do some shit you don't want to do. Teddy, you shit it that fast? <laughs> I think what it is. Wait, what? The show's still on? No, I ain't gonna wipe. I'm gonna go sit back down. 
I ain't getting no pussy with them to wipe my ass for. Yeah, niggas stop washing up when they know y'all ain't gonna get no pussy, man. What I'm gonna brush my teeth? You just don't like me no more. The only reason why we gonna get haircuts and shined up is because of y'all. Some bullshit. But you're supposed to do that every day, you fellas. But my boy, he in love. This nigga, man. I'm sick of this shit, man. I'm like, dog, you gotta go to work. He's like, man, fuck that job. I'm like, dog, they're gonna fire you. He's like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. If she don't call me, I'm not going to work. So I called her. I said, hey, baby, he's getting ready to kill us. <laughs> you need to call me. When that check stop coming in, he going to feel that. All the bills he got over there, you need to really call him. So point is, I got them back together. That's what we need. Right? We need people to help. And stop giving up on us, ladies. Stop that. Stop it. I think don't get hard. One time, y'all ready to break up. That's some bullshit. This nigga got the shit they got on TV, ED. Look at her laughing, because she's been through that before. Niggas come with all kind of excuses. I don't know what's wrong. Maybe it was my blood pressure medicine. I don't know. You go in the bathroom and be like, come on, nigga. Do you see the pussy? I'm the only one. Look at everybody denying this shit. <laughs> you ever been to the hotel, took a shower, and still couldn't get it? Okay, I'm the only one. You been there with a wet rag, praying, like, come on, man. Fuck, I'm just gonna eat this pussy for 17 hours. I'm the only one again. Oh, y'all, it's some denial. This other lady is selling drugs for uh, the cartel in Mexico over here. She's got infused everything. She's got slushies. She's got cookies. She's got a &W root beer that's already been opened. She's just drinking that. So if anybody wants some a &W root beer, what the fuck? All right. Uh, Tickled y'all enough. Let's move on with this show. Ah, oh, man. Anyway, back to Tim Hardaway. I want to say this. Tim Hardaway is a real ass dude. Yes. Yes. Came in the pocket, stay in the pocket. Brian Leach, this shirt I'm wearing right now, is this brother's. He was the first brother to have an urban clothing store in the hood. The Bud Factory was right there on 73rd and Cottage Grove, right in his own hood. Played for Simeon, basketball legend. Whole lot of people. Simeon, yeah, he was Simeon great. This guy had the whole world in Pocket Town. He had the whole world at his birthday party. We need to show support like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't just down the motherfucker. Excuse me, whoever that was just coughed. It's a two cough memory. You got one more cough, you the fuck out of here. Just wanna let you know that. Keep the rules going right. All right, y'all ready for some more comedy? Give me some energy in here. Y'all ready for some more comedy? Give me some energy in here. This next young lady that's coming to the stage, she's been doing comedy for a while. She's one of the funniest ladies I know. She was my boss. Bro, sit down. You're going to enjoy this. Unless you got to go to the bathroom. You got to let you. Oh, you got to go to the Okay, hurry up. Let me let you pass. Go ahead. Come on. Yeah, because if she come out here, she going to bust the door down. Yeah. All right. But this young lady, like I said, coming to the stage, she has been on Def Jam. She has had her own show at the Click. Y'all remember the Click? Remember the comedy clip that was downstairs? Yes. This was the original host. Star Club right now where we're giving our flowers back to our motherfucking icons in Chicago. Come on, y'all clap a little bit louder for free. Come on. Keep clapping like the music is on. Y'all give it up for the funky diva of comedy, my girl. 
my sister, my other mother. Keep clapping, God damn it. We're going to put one and only Miss Diane Porter, y'all. Give us some love, man. Diane Porter, keep clapping until she get up here. Keep clapping until she get up here. Come on, one step, Diane, one step. One step. Don't say my name or shit. Just fuck me. <laughs> well, needless to say, he told some of his friends. And they be in my the lap. Everybody know me know the kind of girl I'm is. I like the young boys and they like me back. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, 21 and up, long as they can stay up. That's my rule. <laughs> uh, now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm kind of fucking around with old men, too. Yeah. I'm getting a little senior citizen like myself. You know, we can no. share medication. <laughs> that motherfucker want high blood pressure. I want low blood pressure. We can work out a deal, you know? <laughs> Expenses ain't got to be everything. But I found a solution to the old men, girl. You know what you need to get one? You give them a prevagen and an edible. <laughs> they'll remember they get the dick hard, but they'll forget what to do with it. <laughs> oh, I know what that shit had to happen with. That's some bullshit, okay? How many ladies they got a vibrator? Oh, this pressure? How many ladies they got a vibrator? Oh, this some bullshit. They have not sold 20 million vibrators. They don't have to she the only bitch grinning. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I can talk some shit about that vibrator, okay? I know why y'all want to talk about it. I had to go to therapy for mine. I thought my vibrator was a real person. I done painted purple and was calling it Prince. <laughs> and that motherfucker left out the telephone leaving them messages, love you. <laughs> Be home soon. I thought I was pregnant and had to buy some AAA batteries. Oh, I thought we just had to do that, huh? <laughs> Let's hear some good pull out and make some noise. Yeah. Damn. What the fuck was going on? <laughs> they ain't got shit to stay in here for. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe I need to give y'all a translated version of some shit. <laughs> if you long, if you young and know how to fuck, make some noise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can talk some shit because I got some good shit. <laughs> My punani is good. My shit's so good, it's good for me. <laughs> Sometimes I'm late getting where I got to go because I can't walk too fast. <laughs> Ass coming with every step. Ooh. <laughs> everybody can't say that because everybody can't feel that. I understand. I understand. Now I see your bald head. You know what? Now I see you got a bald head. I'm not going to fuck with you in your bald head, okay? But I like bald head men. This real smooth bald head. You know what I'm saying? Not that little stubble and shit that itch my thigh. <laughs> oh, I'm the only motherfucker had that to happen. Look, I, I, I try to educate women. Let me tell you something. Listen to another woman sometimes. You know, I had a bachelorette party many years ago. And I was in the party just having a good time. And this lady looked at me and she said, You don't want to marry him. He ain't no good, he ain't nobody no grocery, he ain't gonna lick your pussy but on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch know an awful lot. <laughs> I said, 
said, well, you probably right. She said, I know I'm right. I'm his goddamn mama. <laughs> oh, see, see, y'all the ones serious, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. I have a class that I give my audience. When I say these just jokes, you say, dang, call to say that. These just jokes. These just jokes. I want you motherfuckers to know y'all gonna see you beating a child, she fucking up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no reason to do no shit like that. No more. But uh, I, I, I was married for six times. <laughs> Don't y'all be looking at me all judgmental. I was only married to two men. Each one of them motherfuckers had three personalities. So that's why I ended up with so many motherfuckers. One of his personalities wanted to keep me, the other one wanted to kill me, and the other one just wanted to fuck me all the time. He used to say which one I did not leave. <laughs> uh, I ain't gonna stay up here too long because I know y'all got a heap of comedians that want to come up here. Now, is you got a wife? Right here. Right here with South Side. Huh? You ain't got no wife? You got a job? You got a chance, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let me stop fucking with him before he stalk me. <laughs> I've been stalked by the best. <laughs> when you got good food now, you can't just walk the fuck away, okay? I had a nigga waiting outside on my doorstep, sitting behind a bush. Ooh. So that yeah. bitch got to come out of us sometime. I understand that. So, you understand? Who does that understand? Oh, Miss yeah. Good Pussy Red outfit. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, girl. Did you got a husband? No. Oh, you fucked him up. <laughs> what, you, have you been married? No, engaged. That was it. She said, I got as far as engagement. I said, fuck this. <laughs> This is enough of this shit. I said enough of my family's destroyed by marriage. Yeah, well that's a good thing, girl. Go and get you a husband. If you don't keep him before a little while. Because I was married for a long time. Like I said, 362 days. And that was too fucking long, okay? I was happy for two days. The first day and the last day. I'm telling you, because men, I mean, men want to stalk you and stuff. I know what I'm talking about. You know? How many women here almost got killed by the dick? Oh, your pussy was mediocre then. Yeah. And motherfucker really after you, he after you. I'm gonna see you wouldn't need it any more fucking body else. Now you don't have to share me with the vibrator, so just move off. Oh, uh, I'm in a good mood now. I ain't gonna stay like I say, I ain't gonna stay up here real long because I, I do have some things I do want to discuss with y'all. <laughs> Myself together. Golly. My name is Miss I can't take this. I do want to say, ladies, always, always be proud that you are a woman. Never. There you go. Never ever be shamed. Okay, okay. I'm going to tell you about my situation. <laughs> this guy was getting my punani from the back, right? <laughs> and he's making so much noise. <laughs> Sound like macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I was getting shame. I'm like, oh no, my pussy is so loud. I'm getting shame. The man was still getting it. Wasn't saying shit to me. And they said, what's wrong, Dad? I said, I'm feeling so shame. He said, what? I said, my pussy is so loud. I just feel kind of bad. He said, no, Diane, don't be shame. Be proud. Good pussy speaks for itself. Hey. 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 Diane, I don't mean to tell your business like this, but Diane had three aneurysms. She was performing and fell out on the stage. Look at God. Look at God. What he did? One more time for Chicago's icon, Diane Corley in the building.
Let me say this. Diane is sitting over there with another comic from Chicago that she brought down here. Flame Monroe is in the building, baby. Shot down. Flame. Right on. We get out. That's what we do. Hey, look here, people. Uh, we having fun back here tonight? Yeah. All right, well, let's keep it moving then. Y'all ready for some more? Yeah. I need some energy back here. Y'all ready for some more? It's your birthday. You need to be clapping, girl. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Ain't nothing with you. She trying to stop her titties from bouncing. Let your titties bounce out. It's Tuesday. It's Titty Tuesday. She trying to cup the titties and clap. No, let them jump on out and speak to people. It's your birthday. I'm going wait for whoever this is with the radio. Always. Somebody just got the radio put in. That's on the whole bicycle. What? It's a fucking bicycle. You ain't even got a boat on the motherfucker, but you got all that radio. Alright, let's keep it moving. This next brother, I love Tuesdays. I just want to say this. I really love Tuesdays. And I want Tuesdays to stay like this. This is what you call a for real comedy crowd. People that Everybody back here got problems. Some of us, our problems got problems. Life is a problem. I am a black man that has a real serious problem. Let me tell you what happened to me and I'm gonna bring the next comic up. Going, you got one more call, baby. Listen. She got a sneaker call, she went, ah. One more real call. My brother, where you finna go now? You can tell a nigga that's selling drugs. I think like, yeah, I'm gonna beat you in the lock. I don't wanna do it in front of everybody. I don't wanna get the comedy show shut down. Before I bring that comment up, I gotta say this. I told you about Tim Hardaway, right? I got dressed, I took a bath. Cause I didn't know what the night was gonna endure. <laughs> I left with a comic, I ain't gonna tell you his name. He thought he was performing. He thought he was gonna outdo me. He wore his little outfit. I paid for parking. We get up there, neither one of us are performing, but we in the party. This basically was like, a whole date between me and him. Cause I paid for parking. I thought I was being used. You in this party and I didn't pay for the parking. I bought you drinks. I got you food. Then he leaves me. I was so hurt. I was on Wacker Drive by myself. I felt so little. Man, a brother that's in here right now saved me. This is this I'm telling you how deep your loyalty got to be with the life that you've been blessed to get. He blessed me with somebody else that was driving. He said, man, come on, Marlon, get in the car. I don't know if they was on a motorcycle or what. I needed a ride home from Wacker Drive. He got, and he was sloppy. I don't want to point him out, but Dave, raise your hand, he's right there. He was fucked up. And he parked, the dude that we was riding with parked 58 blocks from the event. My knee told me, man, fuck it, just die. But then my heart said, man, let's just keep walking, man. Dave, I love you, man. That's what you're supposed to do. You ain't never supposed to leave it, but excuse me, man, so you on the phone? Yeah, you, in the middle of the show. I was gonna go crazy. Okay, we got our dicks out! They gonna be like, where you at, girl? Tell me, get your dicks out, I'm gonna come down there. <laughs> All right, let me bring this next comic up. If y'all ready to laugh, let me hear y'all make some energy back here. Act like we're in the air and crowd. Give me some energy back here. This next brother coming to the stage is all the way from St. Louis, Missouri. He drove here today and made it in a drop-top van. I don't know where they're saying it at. 
Motherfucker, it ain't even a power on drop top. He got this a manual. He got to run all the way to the back, pull it down. I'm like, nigga, what if it rain? What are you gonna do if this is not a power roof? All right, this dude is very fucking funny, man. He got an hour special coming out this month. I need some energy in the back of Francis in the yard. Celebrate three years. Give St. Louis some motherfucking love and give it up for the very funny. Hot Sauce Club. Give him some love, y'all. Let's go. Keep coming till we get up here. Somebody help me. Alright. Uh, damn, this might stink. Okay, uh, because of you. I know it's because of you. Uh, first of all, uh, Marlon, uh, this date we went on. I didn't even say the name. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Fuck it, it's me. And I'm going to tell you why I left his ass. The reason I left him is because Marlon got to talk to every motherfucker, man. Anybody that's ever been with Marlon, Marlon just talked to people on the highway and everything. He's like, nigga, we driving. We doing a thousand miles. This nigga pull his way up on that. Hey, boy, where are you been, boy? This is not a good time to talk, but he know everybody. This nigga had to talk to Tim Hardaway, Mickey Mendes. He had to talk to everybody. Then he went off with the other motherfucker. Yeah, we finna go chill out. This nigga left for 45 minutes. I called him. 57 times, this nigga ain't answered the phone. So now that I'm back in Francis, he gonna call me hours later to my nigga, where you at? I'm like, nigga, gone? <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm out of here. I'm not gonna sit around for you to talk to everybody individually. This nigga talk to everybody for an hour. Everybody. First of all, let's talk about how your mama doing. How your auntie doing. He's like, nigga, fuck this. Say hi, I ain't seen you in a minute, get the fuck off. <laughs> boy, I did not know how to do that. Yeah. Fuck, no, nah, boy, I didn't talk to everybody. So you know if you're riding with this nigga, you are stuck. Cause he gonna be like, hold on, five more people I gotta talk to. <laughs> you like, you talk to 55. I know, I got five more motherfuckers. I'm a community activist on the low. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I told the nigga, run for mayor. You, the way you do shit. For real. Love for me, I vote for Marlon. Yeah, I vote for you, man. Because he gonna walk into your house, this nigga just be driving up. Hold on, let's stop at the house right quick. <laughs> hey, who the fuck is we stopping at? Yeah, I just wanna tell her, you know, how she doing, give her a hug. <laughs> like, man, we are campaigning. This nigga is gonna be a politician. Yeah. He's going there hugging their babies and shit. Hold on, how the little baby is? Like, how do you know everybody on this whole block? They just live more than in their house, too. He's like, you got a key to everybody else, too. He's like, no, I'm in the front. No, 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 I'm already, I'm out here with the dog. They're like, damn, right? The dog is supposed to bite you, son. The dog, he already got dog food. Real shit. No, no, fuck that. Uh, everybody in here, clap if you got kids. Clap if you got kids in there, I just want you to know, man, if you do got kids, man, let your kid have a childhood, for real. Because I feel like, you know, these kids out here now, you can't tell them shit. Because they'll Google on your ass. You be like, they be like, no, mom, we Googled that. You're wrong. You're like, nah, little bastard, I live this. I'm one of the guys. I know I was down there. They killed Loran, bitch. Uh, but no, I'm saying, real, no, I'm just saying, real shit. You gotta, you gotta let these kids, for real, but my mom used to fuck us up. Fuck us up. Man, she was just coming there and just, we 10 years old, she was just put all her real business on us. Just wanna let y'all know the electricity about to get cut off, let's put y'all down and let y'all up. And that's a lot of, that's a lot of pressure for a 10 year old. <laughs> for real. That's a lot of pressure. I go back to school, I gotta pay attention to the shit my teacher's saying, cause I know I got the Friday for my shit is on. <laughs> for real, I'm here talking to janitors, how much money do you make an hour? <laughs> This nigga like $10 with benefits. I'm like, ooh, I gotta get the fuck out this school. <laughs> so I can be a provider for my family. <laughs> for real, my mama used to just keep doing this shit. I just wanna let y'all know we about to get evicted. That's one of y'all can scratch your little body. Gotta let y'all <laughs> Me and my brothers got tired of this shit. We had to have a meeting. Do we really need this bitch? <laughs> for real, because everything's in our name. We don't really need her. We need a new mother. We start making her do mother auditions. We was like, yeah, pick the little baby up. We looking at my little brother. How she feel? She a little motherly. I don't know. 
Yeah, we trying to get rid of this bitch. We never rid of her. Yeah. Straight up. And I want to tell you, for all you new women out having kids, man, it's cool to have all these little different baby daddies. You know, you can have different little kids, too. Yeah, no bullshit. It's just cool to have a little Mexican one, a little Arab one, a little white one, a little black one. But they gonna grow up. You about to fuck these kids right now. Oh, yeah. That's how my mama did us. She got all those different kind of little motherfucking kids. You know what I mean? I'm always got to explain. That's your real brother. Yeah, that's my real brother. Hey, the Mexican looking nigga that's cut grass, yeah, that's my brother. Hey, that's Javier, nigga. That's, hey, that's my real brother. Fuck you, nigga. For real. We always got to explain ourselves. The other one is your real brother, too. Yeah, the Jamaica nigga. <laughs> the nigga smoking at five? Yes, that's my little brother. Yeah, he's Jamaican, but y'all know that's my real little brother. It's cool. It's cool at first. It's cool at first, but these niggas gonna grow up. Like I said, they gonna grow up. Me and my little brothers, we in my 30, right? We trying to get a house. Right? We trying to get a house together, trying to save our little money up, get a house together. Now, we get in here and try to get this house. This white lady, white lady just saw us saying all kind of crazy shit. She was like, I want to let you know I'm willing, I'm really with the movement. I was like, oh shit, I ain't know what she was talking about. I'm like, yeah, help us move, shit. We really got some shit. She was like, no, I'm really with the movement. We were like, yeah, we really got some shit. But then I started thinking, I'm like, nah, I think she think we gay. Yeah, we got different last names, we look different. I don't think we're gonna live together. I'm gonna put the shit together. I'm like, oh, this bitch think we gay. Had to tell me, no, 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 it's my little problem. No, 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 I love you. There's a problem. No, we're wrong. She went, oh, I'm sorry. You got some family? Oh, okay. That's going to knock the rent down for me. I thought that was good. You know, if you guys were gay, it's going to knock the rent down from 1400 to 800 <laughs> I was over my little brother. He was like, oh, you ain't saying it. <laughs> oh, shit. I said, oh, no, this nigga's going to be gay for his hand. We don't pay this as men, nigga. We don't go be straight. That bitch shit, nigga. For real, man. You got kids, you got to fuck around. You got to watch it. You got to watch these motherfuckers, man. Cause these kids out there, they just on some different shit. Especially since this pandemic. Oh, yeah, it's going to be some different kids made out here, nigga. You think these kids out here not crazy? No, wait till them little kids born in this pandemic grow up. Yeah, little pan pan them. Yeah, look cold in them. Yeah, they're gonna be some different niggas. Yeah, they're gonna be asking for different shit at the boy. Yeah, put some bleach in my head. I was born with the vaccine, fam. Yeah, I'm gonna have sanitizer. I'm like, damn. You gonna have sanitizer? That's crazy. You gonna have no clue to have sanitizer. Straight up. And I'm gonna tell you this, man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, hey, get some life insurance, man. For real, a lot of black people, man, we don't have life insurance. That's why all these GoFunds needs to be going up. <laughs> a lot of us is a GoFundMe away from this motherfucker, for real. This motherfucker ain't doing right with the money. And when black people die, I want you to know, it, you know, we don't, you know, all these life insurance commercials, we don't like them. They ain't doing the right life insurance commercials. It'd be some old lady just calling her daughter in the kitchen like, I'm ready to go, baby. <laughs> I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. And I have clear choice of it for five nine nine a day. Do you know y'all are gonna be good for five ninety nine a day? They be like, Grandma, you already ready to go? I'm ready to go. I have clear choice. <laughs> clear choice shit ain't enough. And that ain't real. That ain't no real black people shit. That is not real. Cause I know when my grandma died, she, you know, when black people die, they still be trying to dip it in they shit up. They be dying like, hey, and, hey, hey, I want to let you know, don't let Mark drive my car. <laughs> I don't want nobody going upstairs, going and fucking with my shit. <laughs> like, bitch, we are about to sell your house. Are you crazy? <laughs> if we're selling all of this, why is this bitch talking about the great? Never die, grandma. What the fuck is you doing? Come on, don't go upstairs. Bitch, we didn't already been upstairs. What the fuck is waiting to get the shit? Straight up. And black people, man, when you die and you give motherfuckers the wrong shit, hey, man, you, you can start a real war in that family. 
No bullshit. My mama is in tour with my auntie to this day over a motherfucking laptop that my other auntie promised my little brother. No bullshit. And it's some real shit over this laptop. My mama mad in the motherfucker. Soon she gave it that. She was like, uh uh uh, that was for my little baby. She had promised that to Taylor. Like, oh man, she gonna take this motherfucking laptop. They gotta do it. I mean, months went by, man. My mama was still on this motherfucking laptop. She's like, I can't stand that bitch. We had, we had some get together. She just said, she looked at me, looked at me from across the room. Like, 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 it's like she wanna play with me. She antagonizing me, fucking with that laptop. For real, cause I, I ain't gonna lie, but I think my auntie was talking with her. Cause she was bringing the laptop for no reason in places you weren't supposed to bring it to. I'm like, uh, why, why is Dorsey Elder here with that motherfucking laptop? You don't bring a laptop to a club, bitch, this is what she does. This motherfucker, she just wanna eat and she just wanna, I'm just typing, I'm just... She always got to be. Crazy off the laptop. No bullshit. No. She bring that motherfucker everywhere. Everywhere. We had a pool party. This bitch like that. I just wanted to, you know, get in my little shit and laptop it up. Like, uh, I think this has got something to do with my mama. I don't know why. She ain't even coming today. She like, oh, your mama ain't here today. Put that laptop up. Cause you, cause you trying to fuck my mama, I know what you trying to do. And my mama got so motherfucking mad one day, she said, fuck this, we gonna get to the bottom of this motherfucking laptop. She called a real life psychic to our motherfucking house. A real psychic came to the house. Some Asian lady came in there and did a real seance in our motherfucking house. Yeah, cut out, I don't know, she did something first, the lights was on, then she did something, all the lights motherfucking went off. I was like, ooh, then we start hearing this little voice here. Get that little baby back that laptop. <laughs> Get that little baby back that laptop. And I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, damn, that motherfucker, that's my auntie. You know what I'm saying? Because my mama know I do my auntie voice. So I went upstairs, had to use the bathroom, come find out that's my mama in the bed. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, man, you was doing too much for this laptop. Taylor is grown. You don't give a fuck about the laptop. Get out of the back of the lab. Get out of the back of the lab, For real. This shit real. So Black Devil is serious. Black Devil is serious, man. Straight up. So get your shit together, man. Don't bullshit out here, man. But all none of this shit. We too old to be just acting our shit together. But that's how it is. That's how it is. Better late than never, though. I ain't gonna lie, man, this nigga's going back right now, 62, just not getting their GED, I'm happy for him. In jail, they hold like, yeah, man, I got out of my shit, I'm gonna do this, give me a little truck and life. You're like, you been gonna die in 15 days, you heard me. How the did you wait till 83 to do this? I just want to say real shit too. You clap in your relationship, clap in your relationship. Oh, this, this, this is the type of crowd I'm right. Yeah, they, y'all ain't pick, got y'all picked yet for the winner. Yeah, this they crowd. They like, no, oh, I, ain't, I ain't for the claim to be shit. Let me find one for the snuggle up with. Cause you know Chicago get cold in the wintertime. That's when niggas start getting their shit together, don't they? As soon as it get one degree, you be like, hey, I just want to let you know I bought that little baby a game. <laughs> I bought a 20 pack of White Castle for them kids. I don't want to let you know. Hey, I'm trying to be a man. I'm tired of you. You just come on, this nigga shuffled all the snow. You're like, damn, what are you doing, Terry? Trying to get back in that motherfucker house with my kids. It's just one degree. I tried to Airbnb, Airbnb the whole summer, bitch. I didn't do that. It's 43,000 Airbnb. Money, huh? I need to live with you, baby. Uh, <laughs> and you, you tell that nigga doing all live with you game. All oh, kids, all oh, kids, we about to do work in here. <laughs> like, what the fuck? This nigga came in and he tried to get the kids together. He changing the little baby. Uh oh, I got him. <laughs> Real. Say 
this too, man, before I get the fuck on too. Chicago, I learned a lot of shit. Y'all got a lot of shit to say shit. It means different shit here. Yeah, y'all got an auto zone that apparently is an auto shop. Yeah. That motherfucker over there by Park Ray Oh, that shit's serious. That, that, that little auto zone right there? My King Drive? Yeah, yeah, that's a, that ain't no auto zone. As soon as you pull in, don't be like, come on in, G. I didn't know they had ballet in this motherfucker. Come on in. Come on, come on in, bro. No, no, we work good. We work good. We work good. They ain't give us no shirt yet. They ain't give us no shirt yet. They just start helping you with your car and everything. <laughs> Niggas let your bitch out. Uh uh, that's a queen. Come on, man. That's a motherfucking queen. Come on, man. She got to get out like this on the field. Yeah, now that's all those shots. That ain't no motherfucking man. Niggas is doing oil changes, everything going on. Four, five other niggas going. Hey, dog, I said I got that too. Man, you ain't got to come over there, man. Do the door, man. I ain't got over there. <laughs> 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 they picking drugs and shit, dude, on the pills, though. You need me, man. I'll be like, damn, okay. But uh, you pulling that motherfucker, you ain't even got to have problems. Niggas just make you have problems. As soon as I pulled in, I need some light bulbs. That's it. That's all I need. As soon as I pulled in, the nigga was like, oh, boy, I can tell Hey, boy, let me put your alternator on. So that alternator leaking. Nigga just starts telling me shit. Turn the, turn the car off and turn it back on. As soon as I turn it back on, he talking about, oh, you see that? Yeah, that's that, that's that, that's that, 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 that,
when they started the shit with the laptop, the baby was seven. And she did the seance. I, I told him to add this to it. He's supposed to add a little Ouija board. Like, are you in here with us? She went to yes. Then she went on the Ouija board and spelled out laptop. <laughs> then come to find out when they're doing all this, the baby is 27 years old now. Yeah. Supposed to keep that shit going, man. Man, funny shit though, but he filmed a special. And anybody that ain't doing nothing the, the weekend of the 24th, we gonna get a bus from this motherfucker and go to St. Louis, Missouri. All right. And support him filming his films. His hour special. Because I, I really what's funny that's taking the shit out of me is he is that little with my voice. <laughs> and he funny than a motherfucker. I love that. He be doing other people's jokes, but I don't really do. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. That's one shit, that, that's one shit he doesn't do. One thing I don't like about comics. It's like when you do comedy and you really, this is your blood, you pump this shit out, you do your research. I hate to see motherfuckers doing other people's shit. You know what I'm saying? That is the roughest shit in the world. You go to a town and you're doing your shit and the motherfucker said, man, we saw that last week. You're like, nigga, you saw that nigga last week? Who did it? Then you find out, niggas is on the road doing your shit. That hurts. So we come here to open mic to, to sharpen up our motherfucking knife. That dude's knife is sharp. Mike Sam, knife is sharp. Uh, Michi's knife is sharp. So what I'm saying is, this is the type of crowd that really respects and understands a good laugh. A good quality laugh is some shit we need. We got some people that's coming up here, they just getting started. Be real with them and let them know, hey, that shit was funny. Or just don't say shit at all. <laughs> let them come back next week and keep trying this shit. You know when a motherfucker like your shit and don't like it. So I don't want to sound like I'm preaching, but this is some real shit. And uh, really, I came up here to let y'all know that it's a two drink minimum. And uh, <laughs> We need to keep these, you know how much it costs to keep these lights on, motherfucker? Yeah, that's right. It's a black owned, black operated business. And we try to do the right thing. Man, 56 years. My mother laid it down out here. There you go, yeah. Old school, laid it down. I went away to college. She was still down here working. From the west side. I found out my mother was a vice lord at the funeral. He went all up to the kids like, Vice Lord Fancy, we got you. Vice Lord Fancy. She went to cry. Your mama went to cry. And I was like, yeah. He go to pictures. They were showing my mother throwing the kids. Like, oh, She's like, that's when we was helping the community. She left when we started killing motherfuckers. Excuse me, young lady that's leaving. Excuse me, young lady that's leaving. Turn around. I always think somebody trying to turn around. I'm trying to let everybody know you are a massage therapist. Black, black, black right there. She do it all. Make sure she does that, for real. All of that. She gets down with it. All of that. All of that. She's serious. You look, she look tipsy now, but... This, that's a real job. She's like, translation. I'm fucked up, but I will massage you. And she got me one time. Just got me hooked in the massage. I was finna leave. She just, I looked in her eyes and she grabbed me by the neck. I was like, don't do it then. So I'm like, I don't give a fuck. We in this bathroom. Go ahead and finish. She cold blooded with this shit. She got a real table. She's a real massage therapist. And she got the paperwork to prove. And for a little extra, you can get a little happy ending. You know what I'm talking about? I gave her $50. I was like, get out with it, baby. I 
I know that I created looking for it. Like, what's that one? What that motherfucking massage is, baby? He tried to get around my neck. I'm like, fuck that. Get my man, baby. Whoop this nigga around right here. He need a real massage. Get his neck. Right on. No happy ending. If you ain't got $50. $50 happy ending. I got you. Here we go. Hey, excuse me, miss. Yeah, put all that shit down. Y'all ready for some more? Yeah. Come on, give me some energy in here. Y'all want some more? All right. This young lady right here. Hey, y'all want some more? Yeah. All right. This young lady right here. She is a therapist. She is a mother. She is a comic. She is a poet. She's an infused everything. Start clapping right there. Give me some motherfucking energy for the one. You know, keep clapping. I'm gonna get some music on. Give me some motherfucking energy. Now give it up for the one and only Miss Emerald Green. Give us some love, people. Let's go. Keep clapping till she get up here, Miss Emerald Green. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Give me some energy for the one and only Miss Emerald Green. Come on, y'all. Give me some energy for the one Ladies that ain't afraid to compliment another lady make some noise. Yeah. Anytime, it's like, I don't get along with other women. I don't get along with. That's because they hoes. You know? <laughs> friends, who got that one friend that got that one friend you can't stand? Come on, who is here? She always want to bring that bitch, don't she? I'm waiting for the music to go down. Somebody real ignorant with they sound. My homegirl living, we live out in the suburbs. We get off on 87th Street. I thought we was going downtown to eat. I'm like, Frank, what you get off on 87th for? She like, oh, I'm finna pick up. Ugh. You know how that go. I'm the petty friend in the front seat texting all the bitches on the thread. She ain't on. Ooh. <laughs> we on 87th and Morgan picking this bitch up right now. <laughs> Wait till we get outside. Look at her wig, friend. Wig emoji, wig emoji. You know how I go. Petty as hell. As soon as we get to the restaurant, she started with the bullshit, don't she? Waiter, excuse me, waiter. I need lemons for my water. I'm like, we lemon that bitch? I ain't never seen produce in your home, let alone the lemon bitch, but okay. Most I seen was an onion. It was going on the burger bitch, but okay. She's like, excuse me, waiter. I need hot water for my utensils. I was like, this bitch finna wash up. Okay. The bill come, bitches turn to mathematicians, don't they? <laughs> bitches start carrying ones, fractioning chicken tenders and shit. I only had 2.5 chicken tenders. <laughs> like, these bitches want to laugh, but they with her right now, so they ain't laughing over here. Bill be 1600, that place would be like, oh, just give her $40 tip, she's straight, she ain't do much. Man, you ran this bitch for an hour. Look at the cheap hoes. $40 on $1,600. Anyway. <laughs> Ladies, you ever have a dude pull his dick out? It was so big, you was offended. Any ladies? See, there you go. There was one. Look at the men. No, that's never happened to me. Bro. What you talking about? They do that? <laughs> you know what I nigga? And he pulls shit out. You like, fam, that's a furlough cock. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got shit to do tomorrow. I gotta take my grandmama to Jules and dialysis. I can't fuck with you tonight. <laughs> me and family, me and grandma walking fucked up around Jules together. Ooh. <laughs> grandma like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, shit, you had a stroke, grandma? Shit. I had some strokes last night. Mind your motherfucking business. <laughs> <laughs> Your mouth twisted up, Grandma. <laughs> Last night, my mouth was just a fuck you, anyway. <laughs> Anybody from the West Side in here? West Side? Yeah, yeah no? All right. Ladies, I'm telling y'all, all the good dick on the West Side, let me tell y'all. My husband, well, I got my husband from my West, yes. My husband put that Madison and Pulaski penis on me, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's out there. That Columbus Circle cock, it's out there, I'm telling you. I love my husband, it's the first time I ever fucked the Vice Lord. I'm never going back, I love him. We be shaking it up, it's nice. Um, look, I 
love my husband, but he be taking me to the finest dining the West Side has to offer. We be at MacArthur's on these hoes. White table linens and shit. I be like, baby, I really gotta trust you. He be like, why? You trying to be funny because I'm from out west? I'm like, no, I really gotta trust you because I don't know where the fuck I'm at. If me and you get into a nigga, I'm finna take Cicero to 87th Street. That's a two point ride. I don't, I don't. It's a two point ride. Huh? Anybody else count their rides and buns? Anybody? Like, I gotta go to Aurora on Sunday. That's a three blood ride. Roll that shit up. <laughs> I love my husband. I'm real honest, ladies. I'm real honest with my husband about cheating, ladies. You gotta be real honest with these things about this cheating. Like I told him, I said, baby, if you get off on 95th and shorty thick as hell in her CNA uniform, I'll take that loss. <laughs> You can't really compete with these bitches out here thick as hell in they see in their uniforms is what I'm saying. Out here stretching Tweety Bird and Power Rangers out all disrespectfully. Nah, I'll take my loss, you know. But if I catch you at one of them Stony Island motels with a pink hair hole, a fifth of Saveca, some Reggie's, some Jordans, I'm killing every fucking body. Ain't no coming home after no Saveca bitches. You out here drinking gasoline with hoes, nigga, I will kill you. <laughs> Look at Savannah, oh, she tripping. Look at pineapple juice, that shit straight. <laughs> anyway. I gotta go, I told my husband I was in food for less getting eggs. <laughs> I'm back here selling drugs. <laughs> the other day my husband came in the crib, y'all, he said, baby, it's been a while since you made Mr. Big Big. I said, what? He said, yeah, baby, it's been a while since you made Mr. Happy. Happy. Ladies, y'all know men talking riddles when they want their dick sucked. Do y'all know this? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, nigga, that paddywhack, give a dog a pong, get out of my face, nigga. I said, how long it's been, baby? He said, it's been two weeks. I said, two weeks. He said, yeah, it's been two weeks. I said, two weeks. The same amount of time that I get a fill in every two weeks. Cause broke nails and head don't go together. Like Trump and Hope. <laughs> he says, you can't do that for me, baby, unless your nails are done. I said, yeah. He said, why? I said, it fucks with my self-esteem. <laughs> You'll be watching porn, the old girl go to grab the dick and she missing two nails. Ooh. <laughs> you went from horny to sympathetic. We just set up, started Googling this bitch, making sure she ain't sex trafficked to anyone. <laughs> Some of y'all want to laugh at y'all suck dicks and make some nails. It's cool. Um, I got a show coming up September the 18th, ladies. September the 18th. If y'all not doing nothing, I got a show coming up. Follow me. Take out your phones, sisters. Come on, it's a lot of ladies down here. Take out your phones. Follow me on Instagram. I got it unlocked so all my old niggas can see me with my new husband and cry. So it's unlocked. It's open. <laughs> Yeah, double tap these, nigga. <laughs> right, you wanna fuck my friends? This is what happens to your life. Now you scroll a hole. Anyway, my name on Instagram is Emerald. It's M-R-E-L-D, green like the color. Come on now, CPS. M-R-E-L-D, green like the color. That's on Instagram. And my show is September the 18th. If you DM me right now, DM me and say, I saw you at Francis. I will give you your ticket for ten dollars. But the tickets are twenty-two. But if you DM me right now, Ember, Bob, I'll give you the code so you can get your ticket for ten dollars. If that's cool, say that's cool. If that's cool, say that's cool. That's cool. I appreciate y'all. Y'all high. It's cool. Thank you. Woo. I like them shoes, Ember. Thank I, I, you. I them. Nice. Thank you. With all the different little color patterns on it and converse. Those are nice. Shoes. He's that joke. Anyway, uh, y'all having a good time? Yeah. Did y'all know this microphone do stay? All right, it's been a lot of <laughs> different motherfuckers on this motherfucker. Uh, but we got some uh, comments that hasn't been here before. Y'all show some love to Levi in the house back there. He's going to go up later on. Go right, right there. I ain't seen him in here. And uh, next up is one of our favorites. Show some love to Tatum Biggles, y'all. Clap it up. All right. Uh, 
Levi, you want to go? Ronnie, you want to go up? Ronnie, yeah, no. Levi, but you want okay. Anybody else? Says Cass. What's going on, y'all? Give it up for yourself. Come on, man. Give it up for yourself. Say hi, say. Say hi. 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 Say Big motherfuckers is popular in the wintertime. <laughs> I don't know, it's like some, all of a sudden females get a fat boy fetish. Uh, you know what, he, he kind of warm. <laughs> I get all kind of hay big head texts and shit. Now April, we be like, yeah, so, uh, I think I need to find myself. So we don't have to take a break or whatever. Fuck we taking a break from. I'm just, this summer is about me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess they ain't find themselves because September coming around, hey. You wanna go to the movies? Nah, bitch, I wanna go to the movie in the summertime. Fuck you mean? <laughs> Dating shit is crazy, man. Find yourself overextended, trying to make yourself appealing. Motherfuckers want me to talk sexy on the phone. Bitch, I breathe hard. Fuck you, me. Someone's <laughs> talking a deep voice. <sighs> That's deep enough for you. This told me I sound like Sherman Clark one time on the phone. Cause that bitch voicemail out of Sherman Clunk voice too. It was early in the morning. Like, good morning, first of all, uh, it's Purdy. Got me fucked up. <laughs> this is crazy. Why niggas out on the blast day radio? Like, when they come to this party, like, nigga, we don't give a fuck about your playlist. <laughs> What's wrong with them? No, I listen to that shit. Man, I mean, uh, I mean, we got everybody here. I'm sure grew up with a Chicago-based mother, right? But when I say Chicago-based mother, I 